So this week we finished the Sermon on the Mount and we find this verse. And when Jesus finished these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as their scribes. Now, it's no wonder that the crowds were astonished at Jesus' teachings. I mean, he's Jesus. But what's odd is that it says, because he had authority unlike the scribes. So what does this mean? Who were the scribes? Well, we know that they are often associated with the Pharisees and were part of the Jewish opposition to Jesus. But where did they come from? Well, turns out that they first were used to record and copy data in the kingdom of Israel. And eventually they came to hold high political office and became interpreters of the law for the priest and the Levites simply because of their familiarity and understanding with scripture. Now, during the exile, there were wise men who were able to interpret the Torah in the new situation. By Jesus' times, the scribes were closely associated with the Pharisees, but scribes usually weren't priests. They usually had a common day job. But still, they were regarded as authoritative in their interpretation and teaching of the law because they preserved the law and the tradition of the elders. Now, Jesus exposes the hypocrisy of the Jewish opposition, and so it's likely that the scribes' teachings eventually rang hollow to the masses. And on top of that, See, the scribes actually had no authority of their own. They could only point to the law or tradition, unlike Jesus, who begins the Sermon on the Mount with, You have heard it said, but I say, placing himself as the primary authority. And it's this bold, refreshing authority that amazes the crowds, unlike the scribes. So there you go. A little bit about the scribes, and that's enough today for our historical minute.